Hi, this is Bob. What about praying sometimes for this rain to stop? Push the clouds to a side, please. I prayed this morning as I watched dark rain clouds coming towards me from afar. It had started as a sunny day and I'd gone to my terrace garden as usual along with my dog and was playing with him after which I normally sit with a huge pot of coffee and read my morning papers. And then I saw the clouds. Now I am one who asks God for the silliest of things most often find it happening and I have stopped thinking of such as miracles. Lord, I need parking place, I cry when my driver is on leave and I drive to town and find a car moving out just then giving me place for parking. Sometimes it's, Lord, could you ease this ache? And he does, oh yes he does. So when I saw those clouds above, I did just that. Push those clouds to the side, please, I prayed and smiled as I imagined huge, strong angels giving a gentle nudge to crumbling clouds and moving them out of the path of me, God's child below. From days of childhood on my grandmother's knee, I've grown up believing in simple faith. Bob, she used to say, ask and you shall receive. And oh yes, I've asked and received all right. I continued playing with my huge German shepherd, though I saw him looking worriedly up at gathering clouds. You don't know nothing, you silly dog, I murmured, affectionately smiling at looming clouds and picturing those same angels getting ready for final shove. And then huge drops fell. I ran with newspaper, coffee pot and mug and nearly fell as dog tried to beat me downstairs. I was livid. What happened, God, I asked. Didn't you hear my prayer? From window below, I watched the rain gloomily and moodily scowling at triumphant clouds as they continued journey right across my home. And then I sat up straight like a thunderbolt had hit me. The rain clouds were following a path over my house slightly to the right. I followed their course and knew where they were headed, to the lakes, the natural reservoirs which supplied water to the big city. Prayers had been offered by all and sundry as these lakes started drying. And now, God was sending huge clouds laden with water like water tankers straight to those parched lakes. Now, I understand, Lord, I cried ashamed. And I thought of the times we pray for something and wonder why prayers aren't answered. Ah, it's because God's picture is big. We see rain clouds spoiling a morning. He sees his people's thirst being quenched. It's a simple lesson I've learned this morning and as the rain falls outside, I hear God saying, Tell them, Bob, I always answer prayer, but to bigger needs than what you can see. Thank you. This is Bob, signing off.